Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on 3D transitions. Now besides cubes and all that crazy stuff, there are three main 3D transitions. There's a Y flip, an X flip, and an XY flip combined. So before you start anything, you want to make sure your motion blur is enabled and that they're enabled on both of your two clips. In my first After Effects video, I said you should have this clicked, but you actually don't, which is something I found out. So first we're going to do a Y flip. You're going to open your first clip and go down to transform. And here you can see it says X rotation, Y rotation, and Z rotation. Z rotation is just a normal rotation, so that doesn't really count as 3D. So to achieve this transition, you're going to move your current time indicator to towards the beginning of the clip, and then you're going to add your first keyframe to Y rotation. For this, you just want it to be normal zero degrees. Then you're gonna drag your current time indicator towards the very end of the clip, add your second keyframe, which is clicking on the diamond to the very far left, and you can do either negative values or positive values depending on which way you want it to go. I'm just going to do positive. I like to have an absolute value of around 75 to 80, but it's just your preference. Like any other transition, you're gonna highlight, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Then go up to your graph editor, and for simplicity purposes, we're gonna change value graph to speed graph. Now I highly recommend watching my first After Effects basic video, which will be linked in the description because I go more in depth towards how to use the graphs. But if you didn't watch that, I'm just gonna go through it really quickly. Now, if you're going into a transition like you are with this picture, you're gonna grab your little yellow knobs at the bottom and drag them to the right. Now, when I do my 3D transitions, I actually like to have my graph a little bit less intense, so I just bring this yellow knob a little bit more to the left, so it's less of an intense curve. But depending on how slow or fast you want the transition, you can always adjust the graph to your liking. To get out of the graph, you're just gonna click on the graph editor again. We're gonna carry it back up and now go to our second clip. So you're gonna move your current time indicator to the very first frame of this clip and carry it down to transform. You're gonna add your first Y rotation keyframe, and since we did plus 75 here, we're going to do negative 75 here. So it doesn't matter if the absolute values are the same. For example, I could have done 75 and negative 80 for this clip, but they always have to be opposite signs. So one has to be positive and one has to be negative. I'm gonna drag my current time indicator towards the end of the clip, then I'm gonna bring it back to zero degrees. Now coming out of a transition, your graph always has to be skewed towards the left, so I'm just gonna do that. And again, I'm gonna pull it a little bit towards the right so the curve isn't as intense and it's a little bit more slow. And there you go, you have your 3D transition. You can always make this look even better by adding shakes and warps, and you can find out how to do this by watching my last video, which is a tutorial on shakes and warps. So now we're gonna do the X rotation. Now you're gonna add your first keyframe under X rotation, add another keyframe, and then just make this a random positive or negative value, so I'm just gonna keep it at positive 75. Since we're going into a transition, we're gonna move it all the way to the right. Now make this a negative value, so I'm just gonna do negative 75. And make this one zero. And now you have your X rotation. Now to add more dimension to this, and you can do this for any type of 3D transformation, you're gonna go up to layer, new, and light layer. Keep the settings the same. As you can see, it adds a sort of shadow that's really cool. All right, lastly is our XY rotation. Then you're gonna add a keyframe for both X rotation and Y rotation. You're gonna add another keyframe for both X rotation and Y rotation. So I'm just gonna do one type of combination just for example, but there are many different combinations. I'm gonna go positive for X rotation and negative for Y rotation. When you go to your graph editor, you're just gonna have two graphs, but manipulate them the same way by skewing them to the right. You should remember which signs you did for the first transition, so I did positive for X rotation and negative for Y, so now I'm going to do negative for X and positive for Y. Just skew both of these graphs to the left. And there you have it, there's your XY rotation. Now this is another cool thing I like to do where it first goes back and then it goes into the transition, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm under the transform for my first clip, so I'm just going to highlight one set of keyframes. I'm just going to do X rotation and go to the graph editor. Now click on the little yellow square and drag that down a little bit under the pink line or whatever color it ends up being for you. And you can drag this however low or high you want, just depending on your preference. Now click on a keyframe for the Y rotation and do the exact same thing. As you can see, it goes a little back now, and then it goes forward. So that's basically all for the simple, basic 3D transitions. If you want a more complicated video, just let me know in the comments. I can do cubes, you know, a ton of other stuff. But yeah, thank you for watching.